All right, guys, we're doing a 10 minute rapid. We've got the white pieces, we've got a Sicilian, we're going Smith Mora. Uther Hermes from the United Kingdom. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, semi accepted. Let's see if we go all the way. What are you going to do? Taking his time. Doesn't have to accept the second pawn. Most people do at this level. Just watched a couple of videos by Simon Williams, who's back posting. He did a, a long play game in the English. Okay, night out. We play the night out. 30 seconds up on the clock, but what's more important than that is to play good moves. Right, that is not the best move. E5, E6 is fine. I'm going to bring my bishop out. Potentially gives up this square with check, which forces the bishop to take, really. Might bring out his knight. I don't know my Mora theory all that well. H6. Okay, do I have queen here or queen here? Targeting f7. There he can bring his queen out to here or here. Queen here. He hasn't got time to fork. Queen here, what's he got? Knight can't help, because uh, that would be checkmate if he plays knight, e, uh, knight g to e7. Here. Has to bring his queen out, I think. d5 doesn't help, I just take. There he brings his queen out. <sighs> queen comes out. What have I got? got a knight here. I know this from the Danish or Goering. Let's try that. Queen out. I might go here. He then does have this fork and the deep pawn's still in place so I don't have a check forcing the knight back. Um, he can't move the knight now. So moving the knight gives up this potentially. If the queen's on either of these squares you can capture, but that gives up f7. <sighs> Trying to practice calculating a little bit more. But look at this lead in development that we've got for the cost of one pawn. We've got four pieces in the board compared to one. And he's still a long way from castling, which is very important in these gambits. There goes the queen. Okay, if I do this now, say he goes there, I've got a check if I want it. If I go there, he goes here, I capture the queen with check, that just doesn't work. Simply doesn't work. It's too slow to counterattack the queen because my capture is first and it comes with check. He recaptures whatever my queen escapes. And that's the game over. Also threatening, of course, knight c7 check. Really, really enjoying my Smith Mora Gambit at the moment. And I know everyone keeps saying you should buy Esselman's book, Mayhem in the Mora. That's interesting. That is interesting. Well, he's defending C7. There's also the threat of this. Now, should I play like Bishop D2 to de encourage eyes that move? <coughs> I think that's sensible. <coughs> He's got no check here. He can't trade queens because the knight guards that. Both on seven minutes, so both got heaps of time. If 
I go there, queen takes, check. He's got two legal moves. There, queen takes, queen's out. King comes in. If I take, queen takes, my bishop's not in trouble. Let's see, what if I just castle and he throws in this fork? Oh, he can't, he can't, I've protected against that. Okay, he's kind of attacking this. I don't want to get rid of my good knight that's had two moves invested in it. That would be three moves and then it's off the board. If I, if I, I take the knight, queen takes the knight. I castle. He's still behind in development. Just maybe just protecting this is is fine. Drop my bishop back. Put my queen on d3. Put my queen on c2. He could then still just simplify. Okay, I'll simplify. I think we're gonna have queen takes. Okay. I think I have to castle here. I'm still a pawn down, but I'm still I've got three, four pieces out on the board to his two, and that still isn't on. Have I missed the trick here? Bishop c3 puts two attackers, it's defended twice. This he's got knight takes, and that actually defends. There, knight takes, he defends f7. Right? Um, okay, bishop comes out. Now he's getting ready to castle. We do not want this. I feel like I need to bring my rooks into the game, but that's just going to allow him to castle. This bishop's not defended, though. Queen b5. To hassle the bishop. He can't just defend with uh, b6. Kind of like bishop c3. Yeah. A little bit behind on time now. I feel like I should have had something there that I missed. If I lose this, I'm back down to 1500. Bang on. Bishop still defends against his fork. Nice bishops, though. I want to keep them on the board. Okay. It's a completely open file. He's defending the bishop with his pawn. I can harass the knight, which still can't go there. Can't go there. Who's there? Two attackers, three defenders. If I... Hmm. Okay, I think just the other rook in. Just to create possibilities, that's all we're doing. Of course he doesn't have to move the knight, although he could trade on his own terms there. Let's kind of glue this pawn down there. Okay, I think I'll just meet that. It's 
H6 move is still slightly annoying. That's defended twice, that's defended three times, that's defended now, that's defended twice. Okay, what's changed with that move? What's the point of that move? Can't go there. He can't go there. He can't go there. I'm not sure what the point of that move is. I'd love to get my knight in there. This knight also can't move because of that. Okay, he's also clogging up my queen a bit there. This maybe a double up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas a little bit here. I'm on three and a half minutes. He's still on five. Not worried about my rooks being in the line with this pawn on f2. It is an outpost for his knight. So kind of sacking the exchange. Get my light square bishop on that diagonal. Keeps this rook tied down, or rook or queen has to stay there. This knight can actually move now because the bishop's defended by the rook. He's on four minutes. And sometimes in a takes and queen takes. Targeting this. Just going to double up the rooks for now. This rook of course kind of needs to defend this bishop. Well, not, not, not right now. If the knight moves then the rook needs to be there. Takes, takes. I can't win that because the bishop still defends. Ooh. Okay, we're coming back up here. Three and a half minutes to three minutes. I think this, this will be an instructive analysis. No, because I've got bishop takes f2 check, winning the queen. Ah! Oh no. No, I missed it. Now he can move the knight for free. If he moves the knight here, is my queen trapped? I think it is, you know. I think it is. I think I've been out tacticked. Right here. I can move that. Move my queen where the pawn was. Yeah. There's something there in the in the opening where I allowed him to castle and get his oh no and it attacks the queen. Hey oh fool ah, surely I was better there. Come on. Where was I better? 
some friend requests. 86 accuracy. Best. Best. Good. Excellent move. Even better is going around the long way to go in there. Only marginally. Okay. So what should I have done? Just castle there. Half a pawn better. Sufficient move there to prevent this fork. Okay. Now he comes out. Great. And I should not have traded. That was the beginning of my woes. Should have just castled the king. And I'm a one and a half better. <sighs> just castle. That's all I had to do. Yeah, flinched. Right, let's do another one. In a minute. First, I'll post these separately. Right, see you next time.